Okay, so uh, admittedly, today has not been a great day. Well, it started out good, and, and I had a good morning. Uh, it, it went off the rails somewhere around the time the doctor's office called me and told me they could squeeze her in because um, I've been waiting for an appointment. And uh, I like to split up her shots. I hate to do it all at once. So I split it into two appointments and it's a big headache for me because it's an hour away. Uh, it's a pain to get there. So anyways, they, they call me and they save an appointment 10 minutes before the end of the day because that's not a nightmare trying to get home at rush hour. Um, <laughs> so anyways, we go, we do that. Everything's fine. And then I, then I got to take my toddler to get her something to eat. Uh, first, first run we went to... Uh, Panda Express, and she didn't care for that. So then we went to Taco Bell, cheesy roll ups. She loves cheesy roll ups, and I am I'm a big fan of the Chalupa. Uh, by the way, Taco Bell expensive now, really expensive. Five dollars for one Chalupa, that's insane. The, the, I don't even think they have a dollar menu anywhere anymore. But um, anyways, we go through the drive through, get the food. Uh, there was something wrong with the intercom or something. She didn't understand me. Uh, to say chalupa several times but get it everything's fine i stop i give her her chalupa or her cheesy roll up she's good i take a bite of my chalupa and it's like rock solid you know like it's been sitting on the counter waiting like the shell not the insides just the shell but it was terrible and so i was like okay i already lost 20 dollars on this the the panda express venture so I, I need the ten dollars for the shitty chalupas back but i unload the girls take them in ask you know just, can i just have a refund these aren't great um wasn't rude everything's fine oh yeah i need the card to give you a refund shit so i tell him look it's really hard to get a toddler and a baby out and into the the building without a fuss and i'd prefer not to have to go back out and then bring them in again the busy parking lot so it, can you just put it on a gift card maybe and he says because i have the receipt and bag everything's there and he says oh no we're not supposed to do that and he's kind of a dick about it but whatever fine i go back to the car i get the card i come back in and i tell him you know for the record you didn't make this super easy for me, yeah. <laughs> considering the whole point of going through the drive-thru in the first place is so that I don't have to come inside the building and here I am having to come in twice. Um, again, didn't say it rudely, just matter of fact, like didn't make this super easy on me. You know, I'm not, not sure if there's a way you can change that policy. And he goes, well, you know, I could have given you a gift card. Huh? What? Rewind what? That's where he became a dick. And this is where I wanted to leap across the counter and just like smack him. Can't do that. You know, I can't even raise my voice without like fear that somebody's going to whip out a camera and take everything out of context. And the next day I'm going to see myself all over the internet. So I had to swallow it up and just look at him and say, yeah, that's not what you said <laughs> and, and leave. But um, unfortunately for me, this is not the problem because I don't expect the kid manager or anybody at Taco Bell, much less the owner or the, the freaking corporation itself, to care about inconveniencing me as a customer or a parent or anything else. I do expect more of myself though. And while walking out, my toddler dropped her cheesy roll up, which was still in the package on the ground. And we were walking past the garbage can. So I instinctively picked it up and threw it in the garbage not realizing that was that was her food that I just thrown in the garbage. And, you know, then it turned into my cheesy roll up. And she was so upset and I, I broke her heart and I threw her food in the garbage and we're not at a place where I can turn around and buy another cheesy roll up because this is already not a great situation. So the whole way home, I'm just beating myself up, yelling at my husband on the phone because, you know, I didn't explain this. I'm not a single parent, but I might as well be because my husband's in the military. So he is gone all the time. And it's just me here. And anyways, I broke this poor girl's heart and it broke mine and I felt terrible. And I just, 
the the point of this story is that it happens and it happens to all moms and it's terrible especially when you have a little one and you've just given birth you know you think it's going to be all better because the the pregnancy hormones are gone and it's not necessarily better it it is very rough to take care of one kid much less two especially in these small age groups so please have a support system i have a support system um everybody in my support system is pretty busy so it's part of what this channel is for me is a support system so i am definitely here for anybody else who needs it you or can email me leave comments whatever you need um because it it does happen to everybody and i i'd hate for anybody to feel like they're alone in this you're not alone you know, uh, postpartum depression is a real thing. The baby blues is a real thing. And just basic depression and hormones and and having small children. That's enough all by itself. <laughs> Anyways, you're not alone. There's a lot of people going through what you're going through. So um, when when you feel like you're you're getting mad and you're over the edge, then just... Find somebody to talk to about it. And if you don't have somebody to talk to, then feel free to reach out to me. All right. Please subscribe and have a wonderful evening. Or morning, depending on where you are.